are these two new irons from Cobra. They're softest feeling irons they've ever made. Five times forged. We're going to find out in this video. Okay, so two brand new irons from Cobra and it's a new version of the Forged Tech. So we've seen Forged Tech out before, but they only had one option. There are now two options. So we've got the Forged Tech, which is a bit more of a player's look, is what Cobra are saying. A little bit more neater, thinner top line, but providing that uh, forgiveness, obviously it's a forged head, it's a hollow construction. Then we've got the Forged Tech X. So a basic, a stronger version, a stronger loft, a little bit thicker top line for maybe that golf who wants a little bit more forgiveness, a bit more tungsten there, we're gonna talk a little bit about in this video. Uh, maybe somebody who's looking for a little bit more power, a little bit more distance. So we're gonna test both of these irons in this video. So we're gonna kick things off with the Forge Tech iron to start with. And first impressions on the back of the golf club, it looks pretty cool. It's a very nice sort of clean look, lots of silver in there, a little bit of that chrome. Uh, flashing through the back of the golf club. So a really nice sort of look. And then more importantly, down in that playing position, how it sort of sits behind the golf ball. Again, it's a really nice shape. So Cobra's saying a little bit more of a refined shape, maybe from the previous model. We've got just a, a little bit of offset there, and maybe a sort of medium top line and a decent sort of blade length there, nothing too small and maybe sort of off-putting in a way, but you know, gives you a little bit of confidence. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a state down by that golf ball. Let's get this first one hit and see how this feels. That's a nice strike. Just a touch up that left hand side. Really nice feel straight away from that club to be fair. Decent bit of ball speed there. 127 spin, 47 carry, 193. That's a good, powerful shot. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the lofts on this. So this is very same, uh, very similar loft or the same loft as what we saw in the previous Forge Tech model. So this one comes in at 29.5 degrees of loft for this 7-iron. And I'm a little bit disappointed with that because Cobra is sort of saying this is their player's iron with a bit of distance. And I get that, you know, the lofts are going to be strong. We're going to accept that, aren't we? It's a hollow construction. We've got some tungsten, 20 grams of tungsten in this particular model, which is low in the face. So do they need to go 29 and a half? I would like to see that at at least 31, maybe even 32 degrees. And I know they've got the taurine, which will probably take care of that department a little bit thinner. So I get it. I just feel like I'd just like to see a little bit more loft on here, potentially. Yeah, just a little bit up the left. It's a bit of a breeze off the right, uh, sorry, off the left-hand side today. But um, yeah, again, good ball speed there. Not a bad spin, Once, uh, 191, that's pretty good. And uh, you know, we know that spin's gonna be a little bit low with that loft, don't we? But yeah, first impressions there is it feels really nice off the club face. Now I know for that feel and a little bit of that sound is a hollow head. The out, there is a very lightweight foam inside the head, which is obviously gonna try and dampen a little bit that sound and give it more of that forged-like sort of feel. But this is a fully forged body and face on the Forge Tech and it's five times forged. So, I think Cobra are really sort of trying to work on this sort of feel of the club face is what they're sort of saying and, you know, trying to get it more like that desirable forged sort of feel and sound. But I think with that hollow head, even though we've got that foam in it, you always just get that little bit of that clicky sound to it. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lovely high, high towering ball flight. It's 29 and a half degrees of loft, but that is really sort of flighting and getting up there. Again, 190 carry. So you see that height, 107 feet. We've got a land angle around that sort of 47, 48 degree mark. So we know we've got some confidence of that stopping power, not just maybe through spin. I know the spin's gonna be a little bit low with this type of loft, but the height's there, isn't it? And that descent angle's there. So as I mentioned, tungsten, sort of in the centre, but deep in the head, so which is gonna make that ball pop up, which may be one of the reasons why the lofts have to go a little bit stronger to try and control that ball flight because of that extra weight in the bottom. 20 grams of tungsten weight in there to help a little bit of that launch, a little bit of that ease of flight. Ooh, right, there's a leaky one. That's a bad swing from me. A little bit toe, little bit cutty off that right. Decent ball speed from that toe strike. Just a little bit more off target, so your spin goes up with that left to right shape. Okay, that's a lovely strike. So it's a very nice feel. Very nice feel. The flight looks really good. The ball speed's superb there. So we're getting that power that Cobra suggested. So he spins a little bit low, plenty of height, 
plenty of sort of land angle there as well. So availability wise on the Forge Tech is a three iron all the way through to a gap wedge. Available both right and left handed there. And price point wise for a seven iron set, maybe like a four to pitching wedge, you're looking at £999. So it's pretty typical in that sort of forged hollow construction head that we see maybe other brands, very similar sort of price point. So switching over now into the Forge Tech X. So possibly you're looking for maybe some more distance, a bit more of that ball speed, but you still want a bit of that forged feel and maybe moving from that game improvement iron and making it look a little bit better as a look of it, as opposed to a big, huge cavity in the back of the iron, potentially. This is, might be the iron for you. So again, we're seeing that forged um, feel. We've still got the um, lightweight foam inside the head, hollow construction, as we've just seen. We're just now going to see a slightly bigger sort of mass behind the ball, essentially. So a little bit wider on that sole. And then when you pop it into that playing position, the top edge now is a little bit thicker and a bit more offset. So just a little bit more oomph behind the ball, so to speak. Blade length looks very, very similar. The shaping of the head is, is act, to me, looks exactly the same as the other one. We've just got a touch more offset, a little bit thicker top line. Just maybe a little bit more potentially confidence inspiring just down by that golf ball. That's a nice strike to start off with. Again, straight instincts, first instincts there. Sound, feel, look, feels exactly the same. Sounds exactly the same. I say just that little bit of difference in that appearance and straight away there you see that ball speed boom jumps up 131.3 now that's because the loft are you wait for this on the seven iron is 27 degrees of loft it is strong okay so two and a half degrees stronger than what we see in that first one we hit the forge tech so really this is just really aiming to try and get that ball speed up but Compensating that a little bit, there's more tungsten in this. So there's now 65 grams of tungsten low and deep in the center of this club head, as opposed to 20 in the forged tech. So they maybe just compensate each other a little bit, don't they? More weight down, it's gonna to help to hit the ball a little bit higher. They can maybe then afford to strengthen lofts off. Still getting a decent sort of launch there. A decent height, 103 feet, you can see in a land angle at 45. So very similar peak and descent angles are seen in there with that more of a stronger loft probably with that little bit of weight in the bottom. Ooh, that's a little tester. That was a bit of a low one in the fair. I tell you what, that's still up there, even though that was a quite a bit bottom groove. Lost a little bit of ball speed, but not a huge amount there. I'm a couple of mile an hour, but still got that distance of 194. And obviously just a touch low on that launch and the peak height. So just maybe testing that bit of forgiveness, that 65 grams of tungsten low there, just matching up to where I've just struck that a bit low in the club face. I think of this, I see this being quite a popular iron in my eyes because I think there's so many golfers out there who aspire to play this, what looks to be a more of a player's sort of club in a way. You know, the looks on the back, got the word forged there that's to generally associated with that lower handicap golfer isn't it um, but they're getting that maximum forgiveness of you know in, in the head with all that tungsten there the hollow construction the stronger loft maybe for the ones who want to get that um, that little bit of distance there but also that bit of confidence down by the golf ball you know I think this could you know a, a, a a high handicap golfer could easily play this iron in, in my eyes as maybe as well as potentially a lower handicap golfer depending on or he or she feels with that stronger loft and the spin so that's a little bit off the toe touch up the left but it's flown great that's flown really well it's up there look at that ball speed as well didn't hit that flushed Ball speed still retained there, which is good. There's that forgiveness on those slight little misses. Really nice ball flight. Quite, quite enjoy that. Just, I mean, it just fizzes out there. I mean, that's just flying out there. Again, good ball speed. And the, do you know what? The spin there is, I, I know it's low, but I, we'll have a look at the numbers a little bit more detail between those two irons, but it doesn't look massively lower than what we've just seen in that first one. So the availability in this iron in the X version is a four iron through to gap wedge. So there's no three iron now, because obviously these lofts have got stronger. The four iron is 19 degrees of loft. So probably what I'd say here is just be careful in that longer iron. You know, if you've got, I mean, I've, luckily I've got a bit of speed, but if you've not got this, as much speed, then you might just struggle to really get that ball flight in that longer iron. But obviously that's where you maybe talk with your fitter in terms of switching them out, and potentially putting like hybrids in, whether that's a four and a five hybrid, to replace that four and five iron, and then move into that six iron upwards. Obviously that's something you just have to look at 
it depends on your confidence with your striking of your longer irons and your consistency of the of the longer irons. Oh, that's a good strike. Again, just a touch up the left. I've just got a little bit left. Maybe that little bit more offset. Just give me a bit more of that shape. But again, flight's up there. Flight's really high. Okay, so let's look at a, a bit of comparison between those two clubs. So we've got the white one, which is the X, uh, the Forged Tech. The orange is the X version, the stronger lofty one. So you can see the dispersion rings there. Just a little bit more of a left bias with that X. Clearly you can see a little bit more distance there as well. I'm just having a quick look at the numbers. So we use this exactly the same shaft, KBS S taper in a 120 half inch longer. So that's a shaft that's using both of those heads, but we can just see a little bit more club head speed in that X version there. Maybe the size of the head just let me go a little bit more, a bit more confidence, I don't know. But a little bit more speed there. You can see ball speed 131.1 against 127. You know, obviously two and a half degrees stronger on the loft. We probably are definitely going to see that a uh, little bit of gain on ball speed in comparison because of the loft. You see launching a little bit lower, just over a degree lower on average. Spin a little bit lower as you expect. So 4438, we've got just short of 5,000 on the Forged Tech. So height, as I mentioned, very, very similar. So even though that stronger loft launched lower, it because of the speed they climbed to that same height around that sort of 100 foot mark and to see scent angle just very very similar with the forge tech just edging it a little bit just because of that slightly higher spin number okay there we go there's a the new cobra forge tech irons so post your comments down below let me know your thoughts on the new range would you go forge tech would you go forge tech x love to hear your thoughts as always there'll be another video popping up there so you can go and enjoy that if you'd like to and hopefully catch up with you all very soon